How's it going everyone? Brian Hoops here, Midwest Market Solutions. This is our uh, trade update newsletter and a video series that goes along with it. It's Sunday night, August the 27th. Well, we've made uh, comments in the past about uh, soy complex potentially trying to bottom here. Here is a chart of soybean meal. Look at this almost picture perfect double bottom in the December contract. Now, if we can move a little bit higher, get above the wheel trend line, that'd be, I think, confirmation that uh, we've posted a double bottom and we're going to start moving higher. And um, I think we're in the process of doing that. If you look at a bean oil chart, uh, it's been very much a steady uptrending market in here um, for, for the most part. We had a dip just recently in mid-August, but the biodiesel news sent us sharply higher. So obviously soybean oil is strong, soybean meal. Looks like it's potentially bottoming, and uh, we get the same signals here in the soybeans. Um, came down into this, what looks to be good support in the low $9 area, and uh, starting to trade here in the overnight to the highest levels since August the 10th. That is, uh, I think, po technically positive. Um, we have a very quiet day on Friday and a little uptick here during the day session today. Uh, if we can get a pullback, for whatever reason back into this 930 uh, area I'm gonna go ahead and buy a position there and add to it around 925 with stops below this low at 921 so I think this is a market here trying to break out above um, resistance make an uptrending market and should have a little bit of a pullback once again so that'll be our next target is to try and get long in the soybean complex we've looked at uh, cattle and, and want to sell rallies we may get one tomorrow after the cattle on feed report wasn't as bearish as expected um, we, we're certainly not overbought where we kind of failed at some resistance here in the October contract Friday I would be surprised if we go back and take out Friday's highs and maybe challenge this high up here from mid-August and that would be the key point to watch and give us a low risk trade entry point uh, as we're obviously in a downtrending market and uh, so we want, want to sell this market here and uh, there's your, your trend line we could get a rally back up near that trend line so we'll go ahead and uh, look to sell this but we're gonna wait for a better entry point wait for it to rally and get a little bit over overbought and put that in our favor so that's what we're looking at uh, as far as our system trades go we've got uh, a few of those s p system has some signals for uh, tomorrow of course it's flat right now inner circle bonds is buying at 156.17 and uh, the crude oil system is flat this is last uh, week of august trades from mrci and then we'll be posting the september trades here soon um, we've talked about this october december Hog spread. Here's a chart of that. Uh, this is one that more research put on back on the uh, 16th of August. Now they hold this through the end, all of uh, end of August and all through September. It has worked 14 out of 15 years. So somewhere in here we may want to take a shot at uh, getting long in this market. This is October uh, 425 premium over the December. And if you do this, you know you want this spread to widen out, such as it did back here in uh, late June. So you want to make sure the market's moving in an uptrend. Um, there's a meal spread uh, that they put on this week buying May meal selling October that could work real well 14 out of 15 years is a history and that, that is a spread that uh, if the market is bottoming that may be one that they look at as well all right have a great night and good luck good trading talk to you soon